It's like my prized possession, it's my commodity, man. When I come here, I expect things to be working when they're supposed to work, man. Wildly, unprofessionally. You're not gonna sit there and give me the, the fish face and put chapstick on in front of me. You know the rules about putting chapstick on in front of me. That's why I did it on purpose. Hello people, I am Javi Kawe, joined by Sintel Kawe. What's good? And we're looking at something from Silly Monk's Studios, George Reddy official trailer with Sandeep Madhav and Satya Dev. This is directed by Jivan Reddy, with uh, music by Suresh Babili. And okay, here we go. Yeah. Revelation is taking over. Poor staying poor and rich becoming richer. Being against this, we have raised our voice to protest. But our protest has remained unheard. Jump into it like that? What is happening? Oh, look at little man. Bhagat Singh. Singh is the Malcolm X. You know. Anybody can solve this? Listen, Jappu. I'm a Serena Sargala. One year, I'm a Serena Sargala. I'm a Serena Sargala. I'm a Serena Sargala. Let the world change you and you can change the world. All right. This is like Ass Whoop University. Goodness. Wow. George Reddy is a dad in the world. He's a dad in the world. He's a dad in the world. He's a dad in the world. Oh my god. Wow, really? That's a thing? It's like picky blinders. Oh, I mean, they still got, they still got it going. Wow. Uh, uh, get ready. Wow. That was intense, man. <laughs> like that. There was a lot of stuff going on. I mean, it's like beat down in books and let's go. I, I mean, yeah, that, that that could be the name of it. Beat down in books, let's go. All right, so this is a true story. That is incredible. Wow. I can't even tell where the line of true ends and embellishing begins. That's the thing about this. It's writing that line perfectly, man. This dude is totally a Bhagat Singh. So Bhagat Singh is someone who, I don't want to butcher his story, but basically, like I said, he was sort of like the counterpart to Gandhi. Okay. But he took a more violent approach, a more aggressive approach. Uh -huh. I don't want to say anything. I just want you to watch his, his movie, but he ended up being hanged for his crimes. Ooh. And so this guy was a fan of Bhagat Singh, apparently. I mean, they briefly mentioned in the trailer there, and he, apparently he dies at the age of 25. Bhagat Singh died at the age of 22. Whoa. Yeah. We got Wikipedia here. George Reddy was a research student in physics at Osmania University in Hyderabad, India, who was murdered by his opposition on April 14th, 1972 in a student hostel age 25. The event led to the formation of the Progressive Democratic Students Union, PDSU, a student body on the campus of the university that took its name from the PDS imprint that Reddy had used when publishing pamphlets. George Reddy was a university gold medalist and a kickboxer. Well, all that is real. Remembered now primarily for his promotion of Marxist ideas and his opposition to social discrimination 
discrimination and inequality. According to a student friend, he was inspired by the emerging Black Panthers movement in the U.S., the oh. Vietnamese people's struggles against U.S. imperialism, and the peasant uprisings in Naxal, Bari, and Srikakulam. Wow, man. Goodness. That is fascinating. I'm all in. I gotta do some research. I gotta do some research. That's fascinating. What's even weirder is that for being such a profound individual, his Wikipedia page is three paragraphs shy of not existing. Uh, it hits the movie to help, I guess, you know, shine some light on the fact that... That's weird. <laughs> this person was walking the earth. That music was great, too. Yeah, man, that, it's just that, a that very... Music just like... It's just a very well-cut trailer. Even during the moments when you think it's gonna let up a little bit, then they take it up and they ramp it up another notch. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> tell us about the Black Panthers, yo. Ah, uh, okay, well, uh, during the 60s, um... The Black Panthers discovered that the best way to protect their community is if they protected the community themselves. Mm -hmm. And the Black Panthers get a very bad um, rap, a yeah, reputation because they armed themselves. So there's this misconception that it's just a bunch of black men with semi-automatic weapons just and violent rifles just violent black walking men up and down the street. Yeah. They felt that they, their community wasn't getting the protection and or the resources that they need, so they took it upon themselves to protect their community, educate their community, feed the kids. They had a, a breakfast programs to make sure the kids had the necessary nutrients and energy to get through their day wow. so that you can get the resources that you need in order to move forward. Unfortunately, the minute they decided to arm themselves, they became public enemy number one. What do you think inspired George Redding about that? Well, what, I, what I'm assuming is that he probably looked at his own people and realizing that they are having a difficult time helping themselves yeah. and are being forced to depend on a system that does not care for them. Wow. So in That's order to do that, man, you have to take some drastic steps mm -hmm. sometimes, most times. And sometimes those drastic steps include violence. This was a, a lot uh, darker of a conversation than I was expecting. Yeah, man. You know, I, I for one, am not a fan of violence by no means, but I do understand its importance as a tool. Historically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it serves a purpose. I don't recommend it, but I understand its use and its functionality. What's even crazier is he was born the year of partition between India and Pakistan. Oh, wow. That's a crazy time to be born. Can you imagine, like, you're born and nine months into your life, India partition happens. Mm. Like, that's crazy. That is bananas. And so, he's growing up in the throes of that, and then he sees what's going on, and uh, I don't know, like, this is a crazy story. And, and you know, I, we're looking at the Wikipedia page, and we're seeing that he was a, a gold medalist kickboxer. A gold um, medalist and a kickboxer. Okay, gold medalist and a kickboxer. Yeah. There's something to be said about the martial arts and establishing a strong sense of self and knowing your own limitations and also knowing the things that you can accomplish when you set your mind to it. I would be fascinated to see how that blend of, of, of the use of violence in order to build and bring yourself up and the other people around you, if it correlates in that. It takes a definite discipline in order to hone your body to be the tool that it needs in order to get victory and to enforce your will upon another man. You know what's interesting is watching this, the first person I thought of was Che. Was it, is that how you say it? Che? Che. Yeah. That was yeah. the first individual I thought of and I don't even know much that much about him, but mm -hmm. for some reason my mind went straight to that. On the Google search, he's someone that is also searched for along with George Redding. Yeah. So he's in that collection of people. Yeah. yeah. That's really fascinating that he's, in, he's part of that collection and I've never heard of this dude. I know. I love these stories because it's the testament of will. Yeah. The will to do that. Yeah. You have to have such a strong sense of self in order to, to create a movement on that level. And that, that just fascinates me that a human being has that capacity, you know, to, to put it all on the line. I mean, he, he passed at the age of 25, right? Yeah, which is ridiculously young. That means he bet it all. He pushed all of his chips in. When you're making movements like that, when you're doing that kind of stuff and there's physical conflict happening, yeah. I mean, it's sort of inviting it, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And he was willing to invite that consequence yeah. and, because he's, he believed so, with st such strong conviction in his ideas. Yeah. We're not all made like no. that. No, man, that's why, that's why I admire it. I don't know all of the politics behind it, but I admire the will and the determination to put forth the effort to yeah. see something done. I feel like you gotta be a little bit crazy. Oh, you absolutely ain't no little bit, you have to. Yeah, you gotta be a little bit crazy because like you are completely abandoning all preservation of yourself. Yes. Any interest in protecting your person is gone. Yeah. In an effort to 
raise this idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Oh man. Yeah. I'm in on that. That was dope. It had me drawn in. And the music has a big, huge part yeah. of it. But the visceralness of it all. Hearing the punches hit, seeing the razor blades, yeah. witnessing the fire, the marching, the anger. What's crazy to me was is the dichotomy between books and brutality. That is. Oh my gosh. You're gonna get an education. <laughs> I'm either gonna educate you with these. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna educate you with this. Right. But you're gonna learn something today. Right. That's that's what I got from that. When he, when he, <laughs> when he walked up on dude, and he just came up with his fist, it's almost like, I don't think you're even mentally ready for what's about to happen. You're like, is this is this real? Is and then happening? suddenly he's punching him in the face. <laughs> that's crazy to that's me. Intense. And just the, the willingness to do that. I wonder how many people back then were built like that. Like, just willing to throw down and brawl immediately for their what they believe in like that. Obviously, he's remembered because he stood apart from the rest of everybody else. Right. Which indicates to me that not a lot of people were like that. And the thing with the razor blades is reminiscent for me of Peaky Blinders. Uh, you ever see Peaky Blinders? I've heard about the razor blades and Peaky Blinders, but yeah, I haven't. I haven't yeah, it's basically Peaky Blinders, they got the blades on the back of their hat, and so they basically take their hat off and they cut you. This is a scarier weapon, like nunchucks with blades on it. It's a very fluid weapon, yeah. and you have to constantly give it tension. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll hurt you. That's a very dangerous weapon because it can easily inflict damage upon your own oh. person in the process of like trying to, you know what I'm saying? I've hit myself in nunchucks a couple of times. That's crazy, so you have to maintain your intensity. If you slow down, you, you whack yourself, man. You gotta catch it or strike. You can't slow down. You have to keep that tension going and then wha. Uh Nunchucks are a dangerous weapon and I'm not messing with that shit right there, no. No, no thanks. No. I was just looking at that, I'm like, oh man, no, no thank you. Mm. Oh Lord, baby Jesus. <laughs> Keep that away from me. So, uh, anyway, you guys, <laughs> thanks so much for hanging out. <laughs> oh, man. You, Let, you know, oh, boy, you, you, you my dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what you think of the George Reddy trailer. I know that we're late in reacting to this. Uh, this came out over a month ago now, but this was one of the recommends that came up in the YouTube community post that I put up. Mm -hmm. This one showed up a couple times, and so that's why. I apologize that we're so late with it and we should have done it a while ago, but uh, I am looking forward to watching this when it drops in theaters. So November, oh, it's coming out fairly soon, November 22nd. Oh yeah, that's right on the corner. So, all right, gonna hey. check it out. You guys make sure to follow Sintel on the social media and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon to get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I'm Jabby Koi, this is... It's your boy, Sintel. Peace out.